Uh, if you're just joining us, you're watching a BBC News special and we're broadcasting this address by the Prime Minister Boris Johnson on the latest measures in the pandemic. Since the pandemic began last year, the whole United Kingdom has been engaged in a great national effort to fight COVID. I'm very sad to say that it hasn't been enough and we are now entering a new phase in this ongoing fight. There's no easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. We have no money. Nil. Nada. Nout. Zero. Zilch. Zip all. Bugger all. Diddly squat. Now, Rishi and I, we did come up with a cunning plan to simply print more money. Until we realised we don't even have enough for the paper and ink to print said money. But in the face of the bleakness, we do now have a strategy. From midnight tomorrow, I will be abolishing the furlough scheme. No! There will be no more self-employment grants. What? And as of tomorrow, we will be redirecting all universal credit payments to central government. What? All non-essential workers must now follow the three-step plan. Retrain, rebuild, repair. What? what? Uh, anyone? that is currently not a key worker, must now take jobs in logistics, our healthcare, or the food sector. That's right. I'm talking to you, musicians, artists, actors. <laughs> Park your fantasies and get a real job. <laughs> Anyone failing to follow these new rules will be forcibly removed from their homes and shot dead. <laughs> not really. It was just a little little joke to lighten the mood. <laughs> One of mine, I wrote that. Rishi will try and claim it, but really it was mine. <laughs> yes. But seriously, though, we are royally buggered. I've heard enough. What are we going to do? I don't know. Al? Well, I guess in light of all this, I'll have to cut down on my monthly Lego spending. I have to make do with mega... Mega blocks. And what about you, Adam? How will you live? I don't know. I suppose I'll have to get like a, I don't know, a warehouse job or, or a builder's apprentice or something. What about you? You know, I think I'll be all right. My OnlyFans has really started taking off this year. You know what, boys? I think it's going to be all right. At least we've got each other, right? Oh. It's the landlord. Hello? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, then. Bye-bye. Cheerio now. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Bye. Is he giving us money off the rent? We're being evicted. What? Yeah, something about needing it back for his niece's boyfriend's second cousin's dog's grandma. She's very old. Well, boys, this is really it. I'll never forget the times I spent with you for as long as I live. I've been trying to call. I've been on my own for long enough. Maybe you can show me how to love Maybe I'm going through withdrawals And you don't even have to do too much You can turn me on with just a touch Baby look around. Sin City's cold and empty No one around to judge me I can see clearly when you're gone oh, oh,
You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Mum. I'll give you a call later. Okay. All right. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Yes, mate, how are you? All good, mate. What's the crack? Oh, you know me, mate. I'm awesome. <laughs> I heard you're back in the area. What happened there then? Oh, mate, long story. But um, yeah, in a nutshell, we've got to have a catch up soon. Moved back to the Midlands, spent a month with my mom while I sorted my head out. Got a new job working in a warehouse. Found myself a new house. You've been a busy boy. <laughs> Who are you living with now? Uh, are you ready for this? Two Latvian girls and they are feet! <laughs> Trust you to land on your feet. You love them Europeans, don't you, you bad man? Oh, you know me, mate. <laughs> hey, is this you trying to get back inside Europe? <laughs> oh, Brexit joke, yeah. I mean, the sexit joke. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard anything from that guy you used to live with? I forget his name. Bit of a prick, wasn't he? Aaron? Nah, I not heard a thing, mate. But God, if I never heard from him again. Mate, I think I'm here. Can I call you back? Yeah, no problem. Why don't you call me when you finish drooling over Miss Latvia? Will do, mate. <laughs> New chapter. Hello? It's Adam of your new house, mate. Helena? Is anyone home? Hi, I'm Adam. What the hell are you doing here? I live here! But you're the new housemate? You're my new housemate? Why? Why here? Long story, but my sister lives down the road and she saw this fantastic place come up on Gumtree for an absolute steal. And she said, why don't you come to the Midlands? And I thought, you know what? Cut that fucking DM. I took a leap and you know what? It paid off. Within a week, I found my dream job. Lego Master Builder. <laughs> Working remotely from home, I get Lego sent to me every month. It's a dream come true. <laughs> I had no idea you lived down here. I can't believe it. What are the odds? I know life is so weird, <laughs> but that's not the strangest thing. But wait, what about the girls? The Latvian girls? Is the four of us living here? What Latvian girls? Oh, <laughs> he means Elena and Ava. Yeah, they moved out when they discovered that an ugly bald worm was moving in. This can't be happening. Intervention! There never was any Latvian girls. Hey, is that my favourite yellow shirt? No. And my foam roller? Nope. And my money plant? Nuh-uh. And a framed photo of me and my sister? Definitely mine. Ooh, it's gonna be just like old times! You got fat. Yep, I know! Moving on. Your beard looks shit. No. What?